Hey, what's up, guys? Today I want to show you a very nice tool, the AU Roundtrip AAC Audio Unit, which can be found within AU Lab, an application available for free download at apple.com slash tune slash master for iTunes. It is primarily designed to serve as an audio unit host for developer, but I find it very useful, especially if you're a musician, a music producer, mastering engineer, or you're simply planning to publish your music on iTunes. This tool will help you compare the encoded file with the original. And let me show you how it works. Once you download the AU Lab, it will appear in your utilities folder. And let's go ahead and open it. Let's create a new document and okay uh, audio input device will leave the way it is and create a document now there are a few more steps we need to perform in order to do the testing under edit we'll go ahead and choose add audio unit generator and before I do anything else I'm going to disable this channel now under generator uh, I'm sorry under effects uh, we actually need to go here to Apple and instantiate the round trip AAC effect. And there is yet another window which uh, we will use to do the uh, comparing. Now we need an audio file, and please bear in mind you need to import the high resolution audio file which means at least 24 bit 44.10 kilohertz and let's go ahead and find one J just to be sure we're going to okay quickly check and that's that's fine and let's go ahead and, and you just drag it here in this window and you can also uh, adjust the length of the audio and now I already know that somewhere here uh, the, the song is a little louder and let's go ahead and hit play okay. and something very interesting happened as you can see there is some clipping going on here on the source and on the encoded file this is actually how your song would sound on iTunes. And if you hit click on this triangle, we'll get even more information. And it tells us that we have some intersample clipping. And these are relatively small values, but you want to avoid any kind of clipping for that matter. And if you're if you're your source, your audio has some clipping in it, the Apple will reject your submission. So in this case you might want to go back and do some adjustments. Uh, now while here let me also show you this listening test. Basically you can have a lot of fun with this just with you and maybe your musician buddies, your friends, uh, you can go ahead and A and B and compare and see who, if any, anyone can hear any difference. And let's go ahead and see how that works. And let's uh, activate the training mode. And you can audition in real time. And let's see. It tells me that I'm incorrect. So it was the B. Basically, doesn't prove anything. Just you can have you can have a lot of fun. I hope this short video you find very useful, and if you like it, please subscribe. Uh, take care and thanks for watching. Until the next episode.